you welcome to my channel my name is Antonia and today's video is a very special one if you are new here be sure to hit the subscribe button to join the family like share and comment don't just sit down and just be watching this video like that no don't do like that and if you are a returning subscriber hello welcome back today's video is a very special one because it's my one month anniversary on youtube and i am super excited i'm so proud of myself that i've been able to pull this through uh, not just starting the channel but i've stayed for one month and i also want to thank all of you my amazing subscribers for subscribing to my channel thank you so much watch my get to know me tag my first youtube video i told you that i procrastinated the start of my channel for three years i've had it in me since 2019 to start off a youtube channel but i started in 2022 and i did not just wake up one morning i said okay i want to start a channel and i started no it took a process of me dealing with procrastination because procrastination did not want me to be great so the steps i used in dealing with procrastination is what i'm going to be sharing in this video before we get into it subscribe if you've not like this video if you've not so the first step to dealing with procrastination is to set a deadline and make it interesting here's what i did i picked my birthday as the deadline for the start of my youtube channel because i loved my birthday so much not i loved i love my birthday so much and apart from christmas new year easter my birthday is my favorite time of the year so i was always looking forward to the start of my youtube channel i know usually on my birthdays i'll get gifts i would receive calls from people they'll send me texts post my pictures and all of that i didn't want this birthday to be like other birthdays so i was looking forward to the start of this channel in fact i was even more concerned about the start of my channel than i was about the age i was turning so if it were to be in previous years i'll be like okay i'm turning 22 this year okay i'm turning 23 this year but this year the age did not matter to me what mattered most was that i was not like i'm not grateful to god though because i know some persons will not start to misunderstand me that i'm not grateful to god what i'm trying to say is that I had set a deadline, so my birthday now gave it extra meaning. Now gave it extra ginger. It gingered me up to do something because I was like, it's my birthday. If I announce that I'm starting a YouTube channel, it makes more sense than just announcing on any other ordinary day. So set a deadline. You can pick a date. It can be Christmas, New Year, Easter, your husband's birthday, your boyfriend's birthday, your daughter's birthday, any date in your life that is significant to you. And this leads us to the second point, which is stop working based on your feelings. Different things will come up along the way. So they leave all of us. Nobody will go to work. We will just be chilling with the big boys and enjoying life because nobody really came to this life to suffer. There are times you'll be like, mm, I don't feel like, mm, I don't feel like, bury it. What did I say? Bury it. Because you really do not need that to achieve the goals you want to achieve. That work that you're saying you don't feel like, now you go still do and last, last. Start doing it little by little. If it's one part you can do, do it that day and rest. I know some people will say, but God talks to us through our feelings sometimes. Yes, no doubt. He talks to us through our feelings. But that is where the spirit of discernment needs to come in place. That is where, as a child of God, you need to know if it is your father speaking to you through your feelings, not to carry out a particular task, or it is your procrastination or laziness talking to you. There are some times where God will speak to you through your feelings and you'll be like, oh, thank you, Jesus, I didn't do this, because it would have resulted in a bad thing. But there are times where it is just pure laziness, and one way we can stop working on our feelings is using the five second rule, which is the third point. In February last year, a friend of mine sent me a book and it was the five second rule by Mel Robbins. I don't know how many of you have read it, but you know, there are times where we second guess our ourselves or we let our feelings, we start to judge the ideas we have even before we take action on them. So the five second rule basically is that whenever you have an idea to do something or whenever you have a suggestion to make, either in church, in the office, wherever you are, and you want to second guess yourself, immediately count five seconds, then do that which you want to do. So for instance, you want to wake up early at 5 a.m. and your 5 a.m. alarm rings. Instead of snoozing the alarm, 
count up to five seconds and get up immediately. You will see that that sleep you were saying you want to sleep, you will not be able to sleep it again. Don't count one, two, three, four, five because you'll be tempted to count six. But when you count five, four, three, two, one, the next thing is zero, and zero is nothing. That nothing represents the action you need to take. So if you've read this book, let me know in the comment section. If you've not read it, please look for the book i think the person sent me a soft copy so i think it should be available on online platforms so look for the book and read it so you understand better now let's move to the last point the last step i took in dealing with procrastination which is having an accountability partner you see this procrastination dealing with procrastination you cannot do it alone you need people and if you're not somebody that works with crowd if you're not somebody that likes crowd in your space okay you need somebody that you'll be accountable to somebody that would hold you responsible when you are doing something so i had a friend that i told i want to start a youtube channel and i was always telling him about what i was doing so there, there were even sometimes self i know he's going to watch this video there are sometimes he didn't even ask me and me i was still telling him, this is what i've done today this is that because i was always i was always keen like i was looking forward to giving reports of what i have done so every day i'm like i've learned how to create a thumbnail i've learned how to do this one i've learned how to add music to my videos so this is me saying thank you to you for helping me out because uh it was not enough for me to set a deadline and use the five second rule and stop working on my feelings without having you as my accountability partner so thank you so much if without you these four steps would not have been complete <laughs> if that makes sense it would not we'll have somebody that's always pushing us forward to do the things we want to do then we'll not get tired easily because we we'll always look forward to giving reports and even when we do not have reports to give we we'll definitely have legit answers and we'll work towards making sure we reach our goal if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel comment below are there other steps used in dealing with procrastination did you enjoy this video which of the steps resonated with you which one of them have you been practicing knowingly or knowingly let me know in the comment section because i'm also i'm also dealing with procrastination on other things and i'm hoping to use these four steps in other areas of my life apart from my youtube channel so let me know in the comment section thank you share this video to that chronic procrastinator so that person that is always that is always waiting what will people say he does not want to move forward in life he's always thinking of what will people say he's procrastinating share this video to them let them watch one fact is that what will people say and me not believing in myself were the reasons why i procrastinated my channel like i was so big on what are they going to say about me what are they going to do these people did not even used to talk about me for 10 minutes in a week. But I think all that is over. I'll see you in my next video. And also let me know in the comment section, what kind of content do you want to see on my channel? At least we've been here for a month now. So let me know, what kind of content do you want to see on my channel? Invite others to come and join this family. Let's make it bigger. Let us, let us multiply. Let us multiply. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I've said thank you for like hundred times if not more than even in my mind i'm still saying thank you i love you <laughs>